So I'm still in my uh, Black Panther mode here because I'm still thoroughly ensconced in this pet. Well, I guess we have to go. Let me give my T'Challa mode a little bit a second. This is a different, this is part three. Let me change things a little, change up a little bit. Hold on a second. Change the Black Panther to, uh, I'll get rid of that too. Change the Black Panther to T'Challa. I guess it would be. Do a little, oh, let me get my notes here. <sighs> Can I do it this way? Oh, go back here. Ah, ah there we go. Some African colors, you know? Of course, that's what it is. And no glasses because, you know, we're in Africa. We got to get the sun. That's how you get your melanin and all the rest of that stuff. I made some notes. This this, 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 the third, this the third in this three-part series. Check out the other two some other time. <clears throat> So, okay, we're talking about uh, Black Panther, the, the, uh, the first uh, trailer is out and people have been buzzing around. It's like a whole new universe. This whole thing about trailer reactions, oh, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. Let's check it out. Let's check out some of the batteries, some of the really good. Um, but first of all, um, of course, I knew Black Panther. I knew about it because Tanahashi Coates had started writing the, the series or whatever. So, but I never picked up a comic or anything like that. But the first hint that this is going to be huge is that uh, a few months ago, maybe it was even early, late last year, I uh, ran across this uh, thing with um, a Stan Lee. And they asked Stan Lee, well, what's, you know, because there's so many Marvel movies out, he said, which is the, you know, which is the one, what's the most exciting one to come up? He said, without hesitation, he said, Black Panther. I said, hmm, that's interesting. Stan Lee said, Black Panther. Now remember, this is around the, you know, this is the whole last year, but maybe the end of the year, this whole racial thing was happening. So I was saying, well, maybe they just cotton to, you know, he just wants to say something about, you know, some, you know, some, something with a black theme in it. But so that put me put on, on, on the radar. Um, but uh, let's let's go with the, back to the trailer for a little bit. Um, interesting thing, uh, the trailer, the guy um, who plays Ulysses uh, Claw, you know, that's going to, well, again, you get into it, you understand what I mean. He sounds to me, it's interesting because the other guy, the Freeman guy, who, who at first everybody talks about he's in, uh, he's in The Hobbit or whatever it is, uh, in, um, and, and Sherlock Holmes, of course, but I first saw him in, in, in Love Actually. I think he was in Love Actually. I liked him then. Anyway, so he's a good actor. Anyway, so he, so the, the British CIA guy, well, the CIA guy is talking to, you know, the, the, uh, um, the guy's going to be Claw, uh, you know, Ulysses Claw. And um, Ulysses Claw, the first thing he asks is, you know, do you know, what do you know about Wakanda? No, he says Wakanda. And that's very interesting because Wakanda, now, he, the way he talks, it sounds to me like he's, sounds to me like he's an Afrikaner. <laughs> I'm South African. It sounds like he's from Afrikaner, or at least have the influence of that Dutch, you know, uh, and you know the Afrikaner language. Let me just say this real quick. The Afrikaner language, everybody thinks it's derived from, from, from Dutch, but it is Dutch, a little Huguenot, you know, the French exiles or whatever have you. But mostly it comes from the, the Quezon or the San people because they're and, and dealing with the, with the slavery that they put these folks under. The, the reason why, um, uh, it's an amalgamation of both things because it's it's a language to get a word of uh, it's a slave it's not slave language it's a language of communication for work to to, to so these Europeans can communicate with the, with the workers so it's sort of like a uh, coming together of that so it's, so it's like a Afrikaans it's like a language of commands <laughs> you know what I mean but but they but, but anyway so this guy really sounds like 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 that it sounds like to me like an Afrikaner kind of guy. Uh, but the other thing is that as far as language goes, Chapter um, uh, um, uh, 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 Bozeman, he was, he was talking about, um, they've developed a language for what kind of language, it's not really a different language, he was uh, from, from, the, from uh, the guy that plays his father in the picture, uh, or, um, in, the, in the Civil War's picture, and, and I guess he would be a presence because we hear him, as he hear, he hear his, um, his voice as a narration in the trailer. Uh, is John Connie. Now, I met John Connie a few years ago when I was when I was in Cape Town. He was he was in this restaurant. I usually don't come up to people. There's only two people in the world I ever came up to in a restaurant and when they were ready. But he was eating. Yeah, he was ready to eat. Um, and then and uh, Arundhati Roy from India was one when I was in India. I saw him. I saw her in uh, in New Delhi, and I just had to talk to her. And I can't explain. It was a whole thing about it. Um, and it's recounted. Maybe I'll put that video up. I kind of think I have it someplace. I talked about that. 
but John Connie and I just had to talk to him because I saw him when he was on Broadway doing the island. You know, as Bonzi is in the island, the two plays by uh, Alto Fogard, the South African playwright. So he's a great presence in South Africa. This guy, he's been acting, you know, that came out in the, when did I see that, in the 70s? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, so I shook his hand, you know, it says, John Connie. Him. Anyway, so so they developed this language out of Kosa, uh, out of the Kosa language. So so those are the language that he said there. Now what's really amazing about the, the film so far, and want to talk about some of these things, is the costuming and you know the dress. You know, it's 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 truly African. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, also, I want to talk about this herb that he has to to, to, to that, that that this valerian, you know, the, the the stuff that for Captain America's shield and also his uh, his costume. Is made of his, his, his dress is made out of this thing. It comes from a place, a plant it's called a heart shaped plant. What's interesting about that, you know, I hope this has an ecological kind of things because what you're basically saying, this plant comes from the ground and the ground has all this stuff in it. So, you, so these nutrients you get from the ground is not processed. You know, and the process they do with it, you see the kids, you know, <laughs> doing something with it, you know, like that. But the process, the natural process, is not, is not like a, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, What's that? Uh, the, the, the other guy, the uh, uh, what, what do you, uh, the bad guy, the one that the one that Michael B. Jordan plays. He synthesized the same the same thing. That's part of his thing because he's like a brilliant mind. You know, Wakanda is this whole place where everybody, you know, it's, it's the future city. Uh, anyway, uh, so this herb comes from the ground. So so it's. Um, uh, yeah, Kill Killmonger, that's the guy's name. Killmonger synthesizes it, so he has the same powers of, 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 of Black Panther, but Black Panther, this is naturally from the ground, but we have the pharmaceuticals, well, Killmonger, he's got, a little, he's got as much degrees as, as, as Black Panther does, so he knows a lot of stuff. Anyway, so, so that's how they get that, that strength. Now, um, I talked about uh, one other thing. Uh, Black Panther's mother, or his, uh, I guess it's his stepmom, you know, because his mother died in childbirth. Uh, she is the second wife of, of his father. But interestingly enough, now she, of course, the, the original mother came from from uh, uh, from Wakanda, right? But the the one that Angela Bassett plays, she's supposed to come from South Africa. Now, for those of you in the know, who else? What other African leader had a South African wife? I think it, and they, 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 and they, you know. Because the first wife died in South Africa, don't guess. Rob Mugabe, his wife is great. She's a South African. That's now the, the first lady of, of, of Zimbabwe was been first lady of Zimbabwe for a long time. Uh, that's interesting to me. Uh, also, I want to go back to this whole thing about where Wakanda is located at. Because when I, I was thinking about it, and I pointed out to you the, the thing back there that Wakanda is located. Let me get my green flag again. Wakanda is located. Right, it's supposed to be located right here, where Uganda, you know, Rwanda, uh, Burundi, Kenya is in that in that area right there, which is super interesting to me, because right now if you don't know Africa, Rwanda is a tech. They have a whole Rwanda is a, it's almost like a tech com company. They put a lot of things in. Yeah, they have a little little issue with their 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 president who's like a dictator. Oh, we won't get into that. Let me not say anything about that. Don't get political. But so Rwanda is very tech centered. And as well as Kenya, there's a whole tech city they built in, in uh in Kenya. And so so it's interesting because that area is in actuality right now is a tech area. Mm. And of course, uh, uh, the city of Wakanda is 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 a, a, a city like no other. In fact, it's going to change a, a, lo a lot because a lot of people, when you think of Africa, what do they think of? You know, lines, huts, whatever it is, uh, to the shacks, township. I live in a township. Uh, it's a house, though. Uh, um, so it's going to change people's perceptions of, of Africa. Hopefully, you know, on, on this level, and so people start coming to visit. Maybe they'll go to Uganda and try to find <laughs> where Wakanda is. Uh, uh, oh, there's other thing. Love the cultural thing. I want to say this. Interesting. In the trailer, there's a scene where uh, there's a, a child, you know, has a, a, a crown on, a, a hat on, and he's walking, and the, and the, and the adult, uh, uh, you know, sort of touches his head, but he doesn't touch the crown of his head. He touched the back of his head here. Now, this is very important. 
an African, an African culture, and actually an African American culture. You don't touch somebody's head. That's why a lot of brothers wear hats and stuff like that. You don't touch somebody's head because that's where their power is. That's the crown. That's where your power is. So even if you're going to touch a child, that's why you do, all the, the slavery time they would rub a, a, a black boy's head because they're trying to get power. You look into the, you look into it yourself. You understand what I'm saying. So I really appreciate that. There's these little touches that I, that I see just in the trailer. That's what makes me want to see this film so bad. Um, like that more more thing. Um, uh, 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 it's also these trailers thing is interesting because you have this whole thing where I call it uh, uh, well it's it's it's, it's called uh, the the nerd verse the nerd universe and it's like oh you see, there's so many black nerds I didn't realize there were many black nerds around you know what I mean or just people just into this into this world and yeah I'm listening to a lot of this other stuff that that say the conscious community is about or whatever community the financial community they're like totally into their nerd and they into this this is going to change the world so nerds unite. <laughs> Um, there's something the, with, 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 with the um, with, with the female fighters. They do some stick fighting. I see that's also an African thing. In fact, they have that in culture in South Africa, but other places. I learned stick fighting when I was in the sixties. Yeah, the sixties because I was working on a, when I was an ignorant ensemble company. I was working at a play called Kongi's Harvest, and they used stick fighting and Hunky's Harvest. So we all had to learn stick fighting. Um, so you know, so that's very that's very African is what I'm what I'm trying to say. And that whole. There's a, um, man, I have to put this in the, maybe I'll put a link. There, there is an African, there was an African, all female, African Amazons, if you want to call it. And I have to think, I'll, I'll put it in the, the African Amazons, I forgot where they were from. Oh, man, uh, they must be from Dahomey, somewhere up in, up in West Africa. But I'll put it in the, in the notes so you can see what that's about. But, well, but, but there's some fierce fighters. And also, if you look at it, if you want to bring it up to date, remember, Muammar Gaddafi, who unceremoniously got wiped out by the West and, you know, whoever, because they, he wanted to change the whole currency <laughs> to, a, to a gold standard to get off this fiat country currency is backed by, you know, the Federal Reserve, which is all these other, whatever, it doesn't matter. You, you look into that, we get very political here. Anyway, he had all female bodyguards. <sighs> well, anyway, I just thought I'd bring, I thought I'd bring that out, you know. Uh, Oh, what are they? This is funny. This is a funny thing. Um, oh, not a funny, but this, this whole thing, the, the posters, there's another controversy about the poster, the Black Panther poster. And But, you know, I saw the poster. I'm going like, hey, reminds me of you, you Newton. I love it. <laughs> but there's also a thing. What, are, what, are, what is the reaction? The guy said, I'm going to be on, because it came out now, it was this June, and the film was coming out in February. This guy said, I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to eat right and do it because I have to see, I have to live to see this movie. Brothers in the States, Sisters, be very careful, you know, because, you know, you don't want to be shot up by no cop before you can get to see this film, okay? Just throw that out there, okay? Uh, we already talked about, oh, I have these ideas. Uh, I have these ideas, but let me, let me go to some other, one other thing. There's a thing that happened earlier this, you know, this year, I guess with the Super Bowl with, with Beyonce, this whole thing with Beyonce, you know, doing this whole, um, uh, uh, that, this whole thing about uh, uh, whatever it was, this, this song that she did in Super Bowl, right? And uh, she had this line that I never liked this line. She said, You might be a Bill Gates in the making. And I can't stand it because it's just supposed to be a female. It doesn't matter. But my point is, like, now they're going to change that now. You, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're a T'Challa's sister in the making. You know, of course, they're totally tech, whatever have you. So it's going to be interesting how this, how this, uh, how this works out. Uh, also, uh, I think uh, also there should be some sort of um, uh, showings, there's special showings, I say township showings, <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, but also just uh, showings like, I would even say you can use a big venue to show the Black Panther film in a, in a, in a bigger venue because people are going to want to see this thing, you know? And also I have this whole other thing I want to start, up. I've done it on my, uh, on my salutation for my email. Thing, my salutation is going to just include the word Wakanda, and Wakanda is going to—it's like a salutation to me. It's going to mean something. It's like a code word, right? And the meaning—and the meaning would be uh, ready to build a future generation. So Wakanda is like a, a code word for building a better or, or a better nation, building a future nation, building a, a, an African uh, um, influenced nation. So at the end, so we should say to each other, like we say, you know, we should say power to the people. We say hey, whatever it is. Now we can say Wakanda. You can just walk by your code, just pass by somebody, say Wakanda, and keep on going. Wakanda, Wakanda. I like that idea. 
Uh, okay, so that's the, that's it. I just wanted to throw out some some of these uh, nerdy things, get all this stuff off my plate that I've been I've been thinking about. Well, let me put some glasses back on so I can look I can look here. No, sorry about that. I've been talking without glasses, man. It's not what I'm supposed to. There you go, Wakanda. Uh, so that so that's it. I mean, just just uh, uh, enjoy. I, the other thing I would do is not really look at a lot of more trailers or whatever have you. Try to stay away from everything. Just try to catch this as a real film. One of the things I have that was wonderful in my life is that when I was arts director of WBAI Radio, it was also well, I hung out with the with the film with the film critics sometimes. Poor the, the late great uh, poor wonder peace and blessing upon his eternal soul. And uh, we used to just, it would, like a movie might come out next year, we would see it now in a screening room, like Dario in New York, whatever, see it in a great screening room, and you can see there's no notes where they give you notes, but you know, you would see it fresh without any pre, whatever, whatever, and I think that's the best way to see a film. All this, you know, uh, this, um, what, what do you call that? Uh, uh, one after another, trailers or whatever have you, just, it just spoils a film, you know, just try to stay away from any mention, any look uh, of the film anymore, just see the film straight, I would say. And uh, that's my advice for now, it's not no good advice, because people are not going to listen to that, they want to get that out there as soon as possible. The nerds just love their, love their much information. And uh, so anyway, so, 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 so Kanda, that's on the, that's on the agenda. Our new AME, we have, a, we have a nation that has its own military, has its own finance, has everything, a real nation. And that's what we want. That's what we want for the future of Africans, African Americans, of black people all over the world. And that's, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. That would be my hope, me, T, from the Patterson's Technical Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.